yes may i change my hair again okay look at afro grew up door so this is just washed hair that i put in you know do the plait them when you got your bed i put in like four plaits and just let it dry overnight and then i was ready to style so i'm doing crochet braids today um i chose to not do the braids too big i have seen persons do them bigger but i knew that i wanted them to last a little while and I know that I would like sweat out the hairstyle in the gym so I wanted it to be as neat as possible plus if I decided to put a wig on after this I could just use the same cornrows which I didn't because I had a trip but so this is my first section parting from the top of my hair all the way around to the back and then putting the rest away you know you have to detangle and then get ready to braid um i slowed this cornrow section down i don't know why because this is not like a cornrow tutorial and you guys have seen me cornrow over and over again but i'm gonna stop talking you can watch this part and then i'll come back when it's time to actually add the crochet hair in Once I finish all of the cornrows, I kind of just cornrow them all into one really big cornrow, if that makes sense. You can even sew down the back, and I also use some pins to help and secure the ends. The pins will stay, it's fine. I'm using the Ghana Twist Water Wave hair in 27, and in that really blonde color that is like leaving my brain right now, but I'll show it again. So now to put in the crochet braids, I'm going to take the needle, push it under the braid, and then I'm going to show you how thick of pieces I'm using. Uh, this hair does come a bit uh, in separations already, so you can even split it again, or you can just go with what they have there. It's fine. So this is what the pieces look like. And then I'm going to feed it into my needle and pull it under. All right, so once we have the looped hair on the other side of the braid, I'm gonna take one end of the hair. Notice I'm just pulling one end. I pull it through the loop, and then I pull that same piece of hair through the loop two more times, and then just pull, and that's it. That's all I did, and I'm gonna be showing that a few more times throughout this video. Y'all, we're running out of the butter blonde hair, so I'm on my way back to the beauty store. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so unfortunate. Are you going into the other lane? This is so unfortunate. And I'm in a hurry, like I have so much to do today. Oh my gosh.
She be like this kind of things where they make man see ya. Yeah. And me, I understand, say your dad know like me, ah. Yeah. See me, I won't make you know, say me there for you, cara. Yeah. And if not, you pride me, that I feel like those, yeah. yeah. I never tell you for nothing. This love will make you mean the dark machine. Without you, I don't think you love it. Without you, I don't think you love it. I want to watch all of that. I want to skip through. I feel like if it did skip through, that's not very demure. <laughs> Uh, so at this point the hair is done finally finished and as you can see it's huge and let me just say i hated it i hated it i hated it so much and don't get me wrong there were some per persons who really liked this look and like big look but it just felt like too much i tried to cut a few bangs and i just went through and added a whole lot of mousse cut the ends i think maybe it was a little bit too thick so in the back of my head there was probably just too much hair so it was really really thick um it didn't feel heavy it was just thick like there were spots that had too much hair and it was really long and i tried to move it and be like okay maybe if i can control it but i ended up coming back home after work and changing it up a little bit so this is what it looks like after i was done with the cut so i decided to show you guys how i do the same thing but on the other side and you can see the difference one side is cut the other side isn't so i'm going to show you exactly how i got the look that i thought was the cutest so i'd split it and this hair will not don't try to pull out the knots or pull it just cut the knots out like that is the best way to maintain the hair and it will also thin the hair out a little bit as time goes on so i'd pull and wherever i see like a knot or the hair won't split i would literally just cut the knots out like cut up the braid until all of the strands are free it adds the bounce back to the hair it makes it not look so fuzz, um, fuzz fuzzy and old so this was the first thing that i did so once i got the nuts out i went ahead and i added some more mousse i did mousse moisturizer and oil um i had this in for a while so here's the moisturizer so mousse first then the moisturizer then a little bit of oil just to seal everything in this is how the hair looks so it's a close-up of once you get the nuts out and that's the oil and that's really what i did for the section so that's the first section i wanted to make sure it was the right length so i used my bra to kind of help and then this first part will help me shape the rest of the section so i'm going to bring down another piece and basically do the same thing cut the knots out add the mousse moisturize and oil Now once I oiled the top and I moisturized it and all that, it was time to cut. And I would let that first part that I cut hang in a clip and then use that as a guidance for the other piece. And I would cut the other piece slightly above it because I want the whole thing to form in this beautiful layer. So this other piece now is going to be cut a little, like the slightest bit shorter than the other spot. And I just did that to the whole thing so this is the front part now i did the same exact thing i would cut layers and i would let it be shorter than the previous part i did this in about three to four sections and that was it and then this is what the whole thing looks like and this this did angle this was so cute so you can see the layers those small little cuts above so one one layer at bra length and the other layer just slightly above that and i would do that 
all over my head and then the front pieces i would have in bangs that would reach about my nose or my or my mouth and just go go through and and give it some more shape and that that looks so good this is what i loved my absolute one of my favorite styles i just i love it i baby i'm a natural blonde and you know i had to come through and give y'all a little look Ooh, ooh, cute loved it it actually looked better in natural light i didn't like how i had the setting on my ring light this day but this hairstyle really really cute love it let me know if you try it i hope this video was helpful thanks for coming back to my channel bye I'm gonna tell you what's up in the